Hey everyone, it's Miss Allison from the Hendrix site. I wanted to share a art activity with you. So we are going to paint with markers. Our activity is called No Paint Watercolor Painting. We need water, paper towel, paintbrush, markers, Ziploc bag, and paper. So I have my Ziploc bag, I've got my paper, got my paintbrush, my water, and my markers. We are going to try out with some layers. You don't have to do layers, but Miss Allison's gonna start with layers. So in my top layer, I'm going to do red. Oops, do red, purple, and I'm going side to side on the back. Next, I'm doing blue side to side, and I'm just going underneath the color I did before. I already did red, can't do, well, you could do red again, but I don't want to do red again. Orange next, and let's do some bright green at the very bottom. All right, now that we've put marker onto our Ziploc bag, we've done our layers. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and it's wet with the water and I'm just going to spread it onto the paper. So you wanna grab your Ziploc bag next with the marker side. You wanna put the marker side down onto your paper. Press down. Then lift your paper. I'm sorry, lift your Ziploc bag off your paper, and you can see the layers I've done. I've done red, purple, blue, orange, and green. I'll put that down to the side, and I'm gonna grab my paper towel and use it like as an eraser and wipe off the residue, the water and marker residue off the Ziploc bag. We're going to use a blank sheet of paper, like printer paper, See how that will work and this time I'm gonna use green I'm gonna draw a picture I'm gonna use green to do grass and I'm gonna use the same green marker to make a stem and leaves for a plant for a flower then I want to I want to draw my flower but it's purple And I'm going to use yellow next to make a circle to draw my sun. And I'm going to color in the circle a little bit with the yellow. Next, I'm going to use my blue marker and color in a sky, a blue sky. All right, so that's done. Again, grab your paintbrush and it needs to be wet. You wanna spread it on your paper enough where it'll fit with the Ziploc bag. Again, marker side down, press, And there you go. You've got your sky, you've got your sun. Here's the grass. I didn't, as you can see, I didn't press hard enough for these two flowers, but I press hard enough down on this one and you can see my flower. So we know it works on printer paper. Gonna use my paper towel to clean off my bag. And next I'm gonna use a notebook paper. So here's my notebook paper. I'm gonna use purple again. Purple's my favorite color. And I'm gonna draw some shapes. And I'm gonna color in my shapes. So in my purple marker, I'm doing a rectangle and I'm coloring in the rectangle. My next shape, I'm going to do black. And I'm 
going to draw a square. And I'm going to actually give our square a smiley face. And I'm going to use the pink marker and make a heart. And I'm going to give the heart a smiley face as well. So let's see if it'll work on the notebook paper. So I'm using my paintbrush, wetting the paper, Ziploc bag, marker side down, press. And it worked on the notebook paper. So you've got the heart, the rectangle, and the square. And I've actually found a blank file folder, so let's see if it'll work on the file folder. And this time we're going to do more of like a abstract drawing. So I'm gonna do my, just free drawing. Doesn't have to look like anything, does not have to be layers however you like it. So I've done up and down, side to side, and I've done some wavy lines. I'm gonna do some zigzags going from top to bottom. I'm going to do up and down, up and down along the top. I'm going to go and do some more wavy lines in the middle. Okay, so let's try it out with the paintbrush. Put the water on the paper. Marker side down. Press, pull it back, and you've got your painting. All right, so go ahead and try that with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whomever you're with, and have fun. I'll see you next time.